hey guys so today in this video i am going to do a step by step tutorial as i said earlier in the last video that i will be making a tutorial for that animation which i covered in last video so basically this tutorial will be divided into three parts so for the first part i will cover 3d modeling and for the second part we will do texturing and setting of lights in the scene and for the third part we will do animation so let's just begin this so here I'm using Blender 2.9. You should also use the same version. If you don't have it, just download it from official website. Now first we will create bottle and then we will create a box. Hit one to go to the front view. Now I will add a reference. Hit shift plus A, go to image and add a background. I will choose this image. I have added link in the video description. Now go ahead and scale this up. As you can see from the image, this is in cylinder shape. So we will use a cylinder mesh to create this. So go ahead and hit shift plus A, then go to the mesh and select cylinder. Now let's scale this cylinder to match up with background. Go to the edit mode and then in wireframe mode. So hit Z and then slide it towards the wireframe. Now select this bottom vertices and move it down to match up with background and select this top vertices again and move it up over here. Alright now I'm gonna add two loop cuts on this mesh. So add one loop cut and slide it up and keep it here. Let's add one more loop cut here. Now let's scale this down to match up with the background. So hit S to scale it down. And again select this top vertices and scale it down. Now I'm gonna apply transform. So hit Ctrl A and click on this all transforms. Now let's go ahead and add a subdivision modifier on this. So go to the modifier and choose subdivision surface. I'm gonna keep the levels to 3. So go to the front view and then select this bottom vertices so control plus b to bevel this so select this loop cut and bevel this Again select this loop cut and bevel this too. Go to the top view. Select this top face and hit I to insert this a little bit and then hit I again to insert it one more time. If you see here we have some weird lines over here so to fix this we just have to go to the face selection mode and select this bottom face and hit I and insert this. Now select this top face hit I to insert and just delete this face. And select this vertices we have here. Go to the front view and E to extrude this up on a Z axis and keep it here. Alright, now I'm gonna add one loop cut over here and move it down. One more loop cut here and move it. Now one more thing I'm gonna add a one loop cut over here and slide it up and one more loop cut over here and slide it. So for the cap, I'm just gonna duplicate this vertices. So hit shift plus D to duplicate this and move it on Z axis. Now I will be separating this. So hit P and then choose this selection. Now go to the object mode and choose this circle. Go back to the edit mode, select all vertices, go to the front view, 
move it down then now extrude this up on a z axis and keep it here now go ahead and hit f to fill up this hole i'm gonna insert this face so hit i to insert this and one more time i to insert it again now let's just disable subdivision modifier on this and i'm gonna hit i one more time to insert this again and hit e to extrude this down and i'm gonna select this top vertices and gonna bevel this so ctrl plus b to bevel this i'm gonna keep one loop cut in between them like that all right now let's just enable this sub subdivision modifier One more thing I'm gonna do is gonna add a loop cut over here and move it up. Alright, so we are done with the bottle. Now we will make a box for this bottle. Then simply hit Shift plus A. Go to the mesh and select cube. Go to the wireframe mode. So hit Z and then slide it to the wireframe. And scale this cube big that is enough now scale this on z axis again now i'm gonna bevel this cube so hit ctrl plus b to bevel this separate this front face because this is going to be animated so i'm gonna separate this from the main mesh so hit p and then select this option selection all right we are done with the 3d modeling as you can see here we have the bottle and box okay that's pretty much for this video in the next video we will cover texturing and then setting up lights in the scene and then for the third video we will cover animation also check out us on patreon to support us i will catch you in the next video bye